Let's talk about JJ. JJ's been outstanding. Hi. Young JJ, young JJ's played like he's, you know, a 30 year old experienced professional against the best midfield in world football. I think I've lost count by now of how many times I've interviewed Rob Page after a game, but I think his favourite line is, can we talk about young JJ? Let's talk about JJ. You've made such an impression since breaking into the first team, just how much are you enjoying everything at the moment? Yeah, it's really good to represent my country is what I wanted to do from a young age. I'm playing under a manager like Rob Page, who trusts me, um, is, is massive. And when I do go on that pitch, I'm so confident in what I need to do. And I've got the backing from the manager, which is an unbelievable feeling. If I can take you back to March, when you made your first appearance for Wales, you came off the bench against Croatia, which no pressure, by the <laughs> yeah, way, one yeah. of the best teams in the world. Just how much did that moment mean to you? It was massive. Um, it gave me goosebumps when I walked onto the pitch. It was a great moment. Literally then a few seconds after you came on, just chaos unfolded yeah. when Nathan Broadhead got the equaliser. What was going through your mind at that point and what was it like to celebrate right there in front of the Wales fans? As soon as I came on, it was that throwing. I was at the back and I could see it all unfold and it was sort of like I was in a dream just watching it and because I've been a fan of Wales for so long it's just the emotion that came out you could see it from the fans the celebrations it was a great point for us and hopefully that can take us on to the next two games. I do want to quickly ask you about this new partnership between you and Ampadu in midfield it looks like you two have been playing with each other for years what's it like being on the pitch with Ethan? Yeah he's, he's great with me honestly I could see him as a captain He's a leader and he took me under his wing when I did go to Wales. He'll love me saying this. <laughs> um, but no, he's, he's a great player and we just work so well together. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but it, it sort of just clicked the first time we, we played together and hopefully it stays that way. You've taken to international football like a duck to water. It looks like nothing seems to phase you, but do, do you ever get nervous? Yeah, of course. Um, that, that game against Croatia was massive. The likes of Modric, Kovacic and watching them growing up, to stand next to them and compete and, and beat them is, is a great feeling. If I can take you back, JJ Twin, you were a little boy. You've mentioned your family, just how important they are to you. And I guess those car journeys and taking you to Dragon Park, like the Cymru Cup and everything, it's all paid off, hasn't it? Yeah, you know, it's a long process. Um, but without my family and the, and the backing from them, I wouldn't have done what I've done. I wouldn't be here right now. I just want to repay them and seeing them in the stands when I do play for Wales is it's an unbelievable feeling and gives me goosebumps, goosebumps even just talking about it. You spent some time with the England setup, didn't you, at under 20s level? And I know Paige and Matty Jones, they've spoken about how important it is that players that have dual nationality that they get to sort of taste the different setup. It was something that just came up on me and I was like, I'm, I'm going to try it. Um, but it didn't feel the same as Wales when I played for them. Um, that's no disrespect to England, obviously, but playing for Wales, when I do put that shirt on, it's, it's the best feeling in the world. It's just something different. I, it's hard to explain. Yeah, I think Red's definitely. Yeah, yeah I, think so too. I think so too. <laughs> Let's talk about Birmingham because you've hit the ground running with Wales. Wayne Rooney, it's been a month since he was appointed as the boss here. What's it been like working with him? Yeah, it's brilliant. Obviously watching him when I was younger, uh, the moments that he's had, the bicycle kicks, um, it's, it's, it's really good. And um, he wants to play a different way, um, and I, I think it suits me. I feel that we've got a really good group here and we can do really well this season. Another fellow Welshman, Carl Robinson, also yeah. on the coaching staff. I was speaking with him and he said when he arrived, Rob Page texted him and the first thing he said was, look after JJ. <laughs> <laughs> Not congratulations, just look after JJ. What's it like having Carl around the place? To have someone around me like that that's being in my situation is great and he helps me a lot, um, both on the pitch and off the pitch, and that's all I can ask for. Two wins away from qualifying for Germany 2024. The smile on your face yeah. says it all. It, it's such an exciting prospect, mm -hmm. is it, for Wales to qualify for a European Championships for the third consecutive yeah. time? Obviously, coming off the win against Croatia, hopefully we can do that against Armenia. It'll be tough, but as a group and as a country, we can do it. Um, and that, that's where we want to get to in growing up. You want to get to these tournaments. Um, I didn't think I was going to be doing it at 19 years of age, but you know, we, we can't get too distracted from that. Um, we've got two games of football to play um, and hopefully we can get that done and then we can enjoy ourselves and get ready for the, for the Euros. Jordan, thank you so much for your time and we'll see you out in Armenia. Thank you.